Johnny made it into town last night and he has a whole weekend off. So I am taking advantage of his time and his muscles and we're going to work on the door. So our plan is to take both of these doors and take this side off and connect it to this side so it's one whole swinging door. But then there's going to be, I think like a four inch gap in between once we take off the, um, the weather stripping here. So we're gonna have to create another four inch, whatever you call it, framing on the side of it where the door handle will attach to. So that's what we're gonna do today. Wish us luck. Cause this might be way easier. Uh, yeah. Got it off. Is it heavy? <laughs> yeah, that's why I was. Oh yeah, that's that's the hard part. But that's why I was saying we should have got thicker of these. Oh, I think so. We could even use this one, just un yeah. undo it on this side and mm -hmm. rotate it around. Mm -hmm. So this is how this works. How heavy do you think that is? That's pretty heavy. See the. Is that the bottom or the top? Oh, this, this is the top. That's where you... Yeah, this is with the end of the metal right here. This is a rubber channel. So you think we should just keep it on there? I don't think you can. I think you need to... Because we need the door to go closer to have space for the doorknob assembly. Oh, the doorknob assembly. Let now. me... Uh, yeah. So this is the lock that we're thinking about putting on it. I've had this for probably a year now. I was going to put it out on the float home but never got a chance to use it. So now, this is what I was talking about. Oops. Complicated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sure it uh, so this is the inside for this side. But it'll be the same size. It's gonna work pretty good. Yeah, but we're taking that whole middle part off, the, the uh, yeah. whatever you call it. Uh -huh. so, so how this is actually going to go here. So with the two of them together, it would be enough space. But that's not going to go there. Going that's going to go side through side. where the wood is, right? Yeah, so this is going to be our end here. Unless we flipped that whole door around. I mean, unless we kept the middle part on there. If we kept the, uh, whatever you call this, the weather stripping. I can't think of that damn word. <clears throat> This is where it's going to go here because this is the end of the door and then there's going to be two by fours oh yeah this way and that's where it's actually going to go mm -hmm. we put them together the door yeah once we put them together we'll have that door 16 inches with the plastic side It's a 19 and a half. <laughs> so that's three and a half inches. How much do you think that door weighs? Mm, 30 pounds. 30 pounds? Yeah, I'm just going to need to get rid of that. There's not that much room in between. Oh, because we were accounting for removing these, but if we're going to yeah. leave them then. I think that's one. enough room, but I really need. Oh, maybe we can do it by mounting up right here. Will it fit here? Almost got to have to attach the two by four. Just flip the door around. If 
we're taking that yeah. that part off. I mean, the, door, the windows will look different, but that'll be kind of cool. It'll be those. Oh, yeah, little, 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 little. yeah, which turn around soon. Well, I, I think we almost need that. Two by four on this side, and a one by two, and it's still on the ground. So we just discussed this situation for probably about an hour. I probably should have been filming, but I didn't. Um, the door opens now. Oh, 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 there goes our frame. So we got that part done, but now we're trying to figure out the gap. We still gotta put the brace on the bottom. Yeah, we gotta put the brace on the bottom down there. This gap in between here and trying to make it work make with this out. lock that I have already, but it's just not gonna work because there isn't enough space over here unless we somehow attached this to the door so that it swings open but we could do that if we did a bunch more of these all along the edge we'd have to find small ones and that would just be too much so the easiest to do because this fits perfectly there's four inches in between the door and the frame so we'll double these up and then i'm just going to find a different lock that fits in this little area here so then we can deadbolt it into this down about one two three four five ten more to go two more yeah that's sturdy but well, i'm saying between two boards oh yeah well the next one we're going to screw oh we're going to screw because in. we got wood yeah okay so our door latch is going to tie into the door. the door latch would probably need to be down yeah, here I mean, down here yeah. but into this outside board and the inside board you could put another border in there, an inside border to keep it from going in farther than it's supposed to, like a real door, you know? Oh, like yeah, yeah. Frame. Yeah, yeah. And on the bottom. Like a lip. Mm -hmm. That way, when it pushes all the way closed, it should align with the hole, and you're not trying to back. Right. Sides. The one by three? Yeah. Where? Like here, so when the door hits it, it's... Oh, yeah. So we went to the hardware store and we picked up just a regular deadbolt without a handle or without a doorknob. And then we got just a regular handle here that we're going to put on the exterior and interior to push and pull the door open. So we're running into a problem here. Imagine that. Yeah. Imagine that. We have this bar in the way. And the, what is that called? The frame. No, the, the bit you were using. Hole saw? Hole saw. That makes sense. <laughs> it's not strong enough to, to go through it. So, and we don't know what it's going to happen. At. We don't even know. So, we're just going to take the saws off and try to around it and hope that works.
that called? The little... Skill saw? Yeah, but with a powerful... Jigsaw? J yeah, jigsaw. He got it! <laughs> So we're gonna have to put this project on hold because we just don't have the right drill bit to get this hole the size that we need. And we need it to be an inch in width and they, oh, diameter, whatever. And um, they don't make drill bits that big, right? They don't even have one. They don't sell one here for metal. Oh, well anyways, yeah. So we're gonna have to put that off on hold. So instead, Donnie's going to drill me a nice hole right through here to put an eye hook so I can hang my swingish wing. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Yay! Let's see. Should I put it on the chains or just hang it directly from this? I'm hang it directly. Well, no. Is the wood too wide? Yeah, it is. It goes sideways. It, yeah, it'll have to be sideways. Or, what if I just cut the little ends off? Mm -hmm. See how much is it? Oh, well, now it's going to be even worse because it was this here. I was like, taking into consideration before. So now it's going to have to be sideways. So that's or fine. just have the, like you just said, the wood on the inside. No, but I want it to swing. Oh, okay. And, you know, I can't do that. Yeah. I mean, it might not be bad. Yeah. Because it could just, that would hold it into place. It sit there. But it still needs this. Yeah, it does. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I might need this the, uh, chain, though. I can't sit in it. Reach it. Yeah. Oh god. I'm scared. <laughs> Strong up there, trust me. Like it. Yeah. No. You want to sit in it? Why not? Good. I'll hold you. I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> 